Now to the developing story we are following in New Haven. Police identifying the man who was shot and killed inside his home. They say he is 28-year-old Joshua Rivera, and he was set to move out of that house today. At least 10 shots were fired, and police say Rivera appears to be just an innocent victim. So as you can imagine, people who live in that area are on edge. Those bullets fired there in the area of 128 Greenwood Street. I want to show you where that is on the map and just how congested this area is. It's right here. Can you see how close these houses are side by side? Well, tonight the community will come together to remember that victim. News 8's Noel Gardner live tonight at the scene where a vigil will be held. Noel. Darren and police say at least 10 shots were fired. Those shots captured on surveillance camera. Now, a neighbor having that surveillance camera, police also have it in their hands, but they're not releasing it to us. But they are giving us a description of that shooter. They say he's a thin man, was wearing a black hoodie sweatshirt, and was wearing light denim jeans, and was traveling north on Greenwood. It sounded like gunshots. I knew it was a big gun. You can tell it was a big gun. It sounded so close. People on Greenwood Street are still shaken today, hours after the shooting. The city's shot spotter picked up the sound of 10 shots. People hitting the floor when they heard this. Wow, 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 wow. Between six and eight shots. As I heard the gunshots, I fell to the floor, you know, calling out for my mother and my son. The bullet traveled through the first floor window of this home, striking 28-year-old Joshua Rivera. An innocent man got killed in his home playing the game for what? Joshua's friends say he was playing video games with his roommate when he was shot. He was playing video games like always, always playing PlayStation, always to himself. An innocent man bothers nobody. Take care of everybody. They walk your dog, watch your kids, cook clean for you, carry your groceries. He didn't deserve that. Taiwan Smalls was a father figure to Joshua, so he calls him his son. He says his heart is broken. I know that wasn't meant for my son. He doesn't bother anybody. He died playing a video game. Neighbors and friends say Joshua was like family. A good neighbor, a good friend, someone that will give you the shirt off his back. Now neighbors fear for their safety. My room is in the front. My son spends a lot of time in my room. They could just shoot like that. They could shoot and kill me and my son. Friends of Joshua have a message for the shooter. Like I said, the people who did that are cowards, you know, it's random shooting. And you really took a really innocent life. You took, the, like, you don't even know the effect that this is going to have on everybody. You took the most innocent person that really didn't even, really didn't even know his name. Darren and neighbors holding a vigil out here tonight at 7 o'clock. They're already bringing by candles, reading, I will miss you. I will walk by the porch each day with my dog thinking of you. This vigil again tonight at 7. And police need your help. If you have any information, give them a call. I'm live tonight in New Haven. Noelle Gardner, News 8. So tragic, Noelle. Thank you.